What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So I've got right here the Asus Zenfone 11 Ultra. Yep, you know I'm a big advocate for the Asus Zenfone 10, its predecessor, which was the compact flagship of 2023. But this year they decided to release an Ultra version of the 11. There's no word on whether there's going to be a regular or a regular Asus Zenfone 11. I hope there is, but for the time being, we're getting the Ultra. It looks like the compact flagship is kind of gone. Uh, but here I got the blue color, uh, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. It's got Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, 6.7 inch Full HD display. So let's go ahead, let's pop it open. And it looks like all this stuff, like the box, in and of itself, it's eco-friendly materials and certified packaging as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this tab. Let's see what we get in here because we, we get some pretty, a pretty decent amount of goodies in here. So I'm just getting the user guide, getting some more um, just UPCs and whatnot. And then we get a case. It's good to see that Asus does include, it's like a bumper case. And here it is, just like that. And mobile phone designed by Asus. There we go. I mean, it's it's not, maybe it's not the case that you would like to have, but it's great that companies still do add this. And also I pre-ordered, so I did get uh, their headphones, their true wireless ANC gaming headphones shipped. I think this is like a value of 100 bucks that they send for free uh, when you do pre-order it, or at least when I did. So here it is, let's put this aside and let's see what else we get because we should be getting at least um, the charging cable right here. We're not getting the charging brick, but we're getting the charging cable. So that's still something nice to see. So let's put that aside. So again, 6.7 inch, eight inch full HD uh, display right here. Let's go ahead and peel this. There we go. And wow, I, you know what? I'm gonna first pull this because I don't need that. But wow, I like this color. First impressions, this color is really nice. It has a matte uh, black sides on the, on the railings right here around the entire phone. It feels pretty decent, like not too heavy, not too light. Uh, this camera cutout is or the camera bump is pretty thick. And looking at it, this looks like an Asus ROG phone. And that is to be expected. It does share a lot of DNA from the ROG phone, the latest ROG phone, um, but it's just kind of rebranded. But there you have, this is the blue color and I'm really happy that I chose this color. We still have the headphone jack, which is now on the bottom. We have the SIM jack, or SIM tray. We have USB-C. It's kind of weird how it's not in the um, middle. It looks like they kind of tried to like throw everything on the bottom of the phone. On the top, we don't really, like we don't have the headphone jack. This is usually on the top. On the right hand side, we have uh, power button and volume rockers. Left hand side, we got nothing. Uh, in display fingerprint sensor. And these cameras, we're gonna check out the cameras, but this blue, I like it. I like this design right here. They have the Asus uh, Zenfone logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of boot this up. It's got six, like I said, 6.7 inch, eight, seven, eight inch display. Uh, peak brightness, I believe is 2,500 nits. Uh, it has HDR 10, uh, 144 Hertz, LTPO AMOLED. So you can get this in 256 gigs of storage and 12 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, 16 gigs of RAM. So here we go. There is the welcome, and I love Zenfone's uh, UI. Zen, I think it's called Zen UI, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to set this up and I'll be right back. All right, so I am back with it. I just put up, I set up the initial process of the Asus Zenfone 11 Ultra. I am going to port everything from my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra to the Asus Zenfone 11 Ultra, and I'm gonna start using this as my daily device, as my main driver. We're going to about phone, it's got a 3.3 gigahertz CPU, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, Android 14, 144 hertz AMOLED display, 5,500 million power 
uh, battery with support for wireless charging, stereo speakers. I think uh, the wire charging is 65 watts if I do remember correctly. Uh, with the cameras, we're getting a triple camera setup, a 50 megapixel main camera, uh, it does have gimbal OIS, a 32 megapixel, uh, I believe that one's a telephoto with 3x optical zoom, as well as a 30 megapixel 120 degree ultra wide. So we're getting ultra like cameras, like we're getting the, the wide, the ultra wide and the telephoto, no other uh, cameras like those mic uh, macro lenses or anything like that. Stereo speakers, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna test that out. It's got the headphone jack, so that's it's good to see that companies are still keeping these things that are being omitted from other companies. So, 5,500 milliamp hour battery. It's gonna be a little bit larger than my S24 Ultra, 65 watts wired. Uh, so, 100 zero to 100 in like 30 to 40 minutes. 15% wireless with Qi wireless charging and 10% or I'm saying 50%, 15 watts of wireless Qi wireless charging and 10 watts reverse wired charging. Uh, and this color is actually called the Skyline Blue and I'm super happy that I did pick up this specific color. This does cost $8.99 here in the US. Asus, well, has to do some a little bit more marketing but or get the word out some more because let me tell you this, when, when I'm going to start to use this phone, the people around me, they're going to ask me what phone I'm using. They're going to be like, I've never heard of that phone. I've never seen that phone. So Asus has to uh, kind of get the word out because they make some really good phones. Their Zenfone 10 is a great phone. And I'm going to make a comparison video and talk about that with the 11 Ultra. Imagine, I'm just imagining right now myself, imagining this phone, this design and size in a compact form factor but still a flat flagship that would be awesome but nonetheless though everything like this phone is buttery smooth i'm still gonna have to set it up to my own liking and my own preference but i really do like how it looks and i actually might go caseless but for those who are wondering how it looks with this bumper case there you go it do obviously doesn't cover uh the sides right here or the bottom so there's your cover your rear bumper case there you have it though, it's, it's good. It's a complimentary case that you get with Asus. And yeah, it's, it's, it's not the most durable, but it'll, it'll still get the job done. But nonetheless, I'll be leaving a link in the description down below if you wanna check out Asus Zenfone 11 Ultra, as well as links to my other uh, digital products like my wallpaper packs or my Notion templates. Uh, let me know what I should do with this. Um, I have another one actually. Um, maybe I should do a giveaway. Let me know in the comments down below if I should. Uh, but yeah, Asus Zenfone 11 Ultra in Skyline Blue. What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear it in the description down below or in the comments down below. Uh, and that's been it for me. Catch you guys in the next episode. Stay tuned.